Hey guys, Uncommon Ramen here, back at you with some more Magic unboxing. Um, about a week ago, we got a new set, Kaldheim, for Standard. Um, typically, I open regular draft boxes, but uh, I chose to open set boosters this time, so I got two of them, two set boosters. Um, I think the reason behind that is just, I guess, morbid curiosity to see, you know, how different the experience is. Um, set boosters came in Rise of Zendikar, and um, they weren't well received. Um, there's a chance that you'll receive four rares in a pack, but that is so, so unlikely. Um, the other big draw to them was the list. Um, a list of 300 cards that are curated from pretty much all of Magic's history. Um, and there's some pretty big hits there. Uh, if you are a non-standard player, um, that's something that you would, I guess, find appealing about it. Um, I only play standard. Uh, I do play commander casually, um, so some of it is interesting. And I've been playing since, I want to say 1994. Um, so it's not like I haven't seen these, so it's a little bit nostalgic to me to see some of these cards. Um, but that's not why I got this. Uh, the chance of getting the four rares is kind of where I come from. Although, again, like I said, it's very unlikely. Um, the way they seed it, uh, the very back card is going to be the list card or, you know, the add card token. Uh, the card after that is going to be your guaranteed foil, which obviously has a chance to be mythic or rare. Um, the card after that is your snow card, which also has a chance of being mythic or rare. Um, then your guaranteed rare... And then in front of that is your um, lottery card, which has a chance of being Mythic or Rare. So that's where they kind of seeded the, the last four cards, or I guess the last five cards. Um, somewhere in there you could get, well, you're guaranteed to get one Rare, but you could get more than one Rare. Also, these guys have a pretty high chance of getting some of the full art and um, the nifty new border. So, interesting stuff. Um... Yeah, let's take a look. Like I said, I opened some of these um, for Zendikar Rising. There are 30 packs as opposed to 36. Um, I would say on average, with a 36 pack uh, booster box, I was getting about 40 rares if you count the foil rare situation. Um, I was watching unboxings. It looks like you average out about 45 here. You're paying $20 extra for this to get six packs less but about five rares more. I don't know if it's worth it. The math doesn't really work out in my head, but it is what it is. Again, this is just more for the experience to see what it looks like. We'll jump in. I'm not gonna go over the commons and uncommons. Um, honestly, we've all seen them. <clears throat> what I will point out here, this back card, if you ever get a card with a normal backing, that means you've got a list card. So right here, we know we don't have a list card. Um, we'll go ahead. Oh, the art card. I forgot about those. So let's count one, two, three, four. So these cards will set aside. And then, you know, the neat little art card. I like the art cards, but... So this is our lottery. And right there, right off the bat, our lottery was rare. So we got uh, Essica's Chariot, followed by our Guaranteed, which is Kazuma, God of the Voyage. This is actually um, up there in price. I want to say one of the two more expensive gods. Um, I want to show you the modal side, so just flip that over. The Omen Keel. And, of course, the uh, Border. And then our Snow card that has a chance of being Mythic or Rare, in this case it's just... Uncommon, followed by our foil, which also has a chance of being Mythic or Rare. So that is how these packs are seeded. Uh, we got two rares in our first pack. It's pretty good. Set those aside. Move on. <clears throat> I don't know how... I mean, it's polarized the uh, Magic community. One, two, three, four, five. In that... You know, 50%, or it's probably close to about 50%, don't like it. And the rest of the uh, rest of the crowd does. So it's an interesting thing. So our lottery, uh, Port of Carfell, 
our guaranteed rare, the Bears of Lichara. Um, just gonna throw that guy right there. Um, our snow car, Shimmer Drift Veil, very cool. Throw that up there. And then our foil card, Bound in Gold. That right there. And then token. Yeah. So it's, it's, they're interesting. They say that they're um, a new one, two, three, four, five. They say that they're a new um, experience because you have the, what they call connected commons and uncommons at the very beginning of the pack. This is cool. This is, uh, what is the art for this one? Behold the multiverse. Very nice. Um, these are connected at commons and uncommons and they're generally follow a, a, a theme of some sort. Um, it's good for people who are opening this because these aren't draftable. This is good for people who are opening it to, um, I don't know, try and fill out a deck. Very good for beginners. So this is our lottery. Skemfar Shadow Sage. Oh, there you go. Uh, World Tree as our guaranteed rare. I, I wanted to get a bunch of these. <laughs> I wanted to get at least four just to have them. Uh, World Tree is a really great card. Um, has a lot of potential in this. Oh, there you go. Our Snow Rare is a Valkyrie Harbinger. Um, these also are generally going to be um, theme booster rare. So this one is actually a theme booster and not a snow rare. Um, so th there you go. And then our last is a foil. Provoke troll. Provoke the trolls. Throw that up here. Uncommon. And our token. Oh, that's an ad card. Ugh. Another cool thing is these uh, little mini games, but you can see those as you get them. They're they're some of them are kind of corny. Okay, so this is our first list card. Who knows what that's gonna be? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Pull those out. Our uh, full art here. It's very cool. You're gonna get a snow land in each of your packs, by the way. So our lottery card here is another Port Carfell, or Carfell, fell. Another World Tree. Okay, we're on our way. Now I just need two more. Uh, other things we're looking for, like Goldspan, Dragon, um, <clears throat> Tybalt's Trickery, I suppose, um, Vorinclex, but you know, what are the odds of that? The gods in general, pretty good. Next up, our snow, which is uncommon. Followed by our foil, which is just a common. So what is our... It is red and it's old border. Oh, wow. Goblin lore from uh, Portal Second Age. That is... That it truly is old. Draw four cards, put them into your hand, then discard three cards at random. Yeah, oh, okay. Very interesting. So there's some, there's some cool, cool cards in there. I like that they keep the old border. It's nostalgic for me. Um, Portal Second Age, also very nostalgic. I started with Portal, uh, the first set, and um, I think I moved right into Ice Age from there. Can't remember. Oh, we got a Modal. One, two, three, four. So that is everything. Sorry about that teaser spoiler there. I hope it's one of the lands. Honestly, for a... Oh, oh we got a side one. Boom. Okay, so this is a chance you're going to get to... Where we have the uh, the gold uh, printed signature on the art, not bad art. I like that. Um, these I think you get like two, maybe three of these per box. Uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, they sell for a little bit. <laughs> um, so we'll just jump in here. We have our lottery card, which is Spectral Steel, followed by a guaranteed rare. These pathways is what I was talking about. I really um, for a standard player. Um, I only play standard. Um, the pathways, well, lands in general are the only thing that really carry value outside of standard um, because they're the most likely to be reprinted, especially these guys right here have such a high chance of, of being reprinted um, as a standard cycle. Um, so I, I, I'm really excited to get these. I can't wait to, to get a player set of these guys. Uh, followed by our snow and then our foil which is Behold the Multiverse. We just pulled the uh, full art for that guy. So, 
Um, and then followed by a token. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I think this it's a cool experience. <clears throat> I think that uh, if you're looking for something that's drastically different from the... Let me just do this off camera. One, two, three, four, five. If you're looking for something that's drastically different from the draft booster boxes, um, you have to go with the collector's booster boxes because, honestly, um, what you're going to get here is pretty much the same experience with the chance of getting multiple rares, and that's the only real difference. Um, return. So <laughs> this was the art that came in this pack, and this is the lottery card, Return Upon the Tide, followed by our guaranteed rare, which is Ascendant Spirit. Uh, this guy is picking up in, in uh, popularity, followed by our Snow, which is Priest of the Haunted Edge. And last but not least, our foil, which is Infernal Pet. And our token. Did our token have a mini game on the back? Wow. A token with a mini game? That's interesting. Is this a token too? No. Huh. Odd. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, so, yeah, if you're looking for just a normal experience, um, I would just suggest. Or, I mean, a better experience, I would suggest the collectors. Um, so we got our next list card. I'm just going to do this off camera. One, two, three, four, five. So that is our lottery slot. Our art card for this is going to be this ugly-looking giant troll-looking thing. And our little foil snow land. The snow lands that you get in here, they're going to be either the dual land or the basic land. Um, I don't think you'll get both. Yeah. Um, so let's jump in. Our lottery was rare. It's the showdown of the Scalds. Did we get any mythics yet? Let's just look at this real quick here. I have not received any mythic rares. So let's see what our guaranteed rare is. It is Toski, Bearer of Secrets. The, <laughs> the Commander Squirrel, which I love. And I want to build a Commander deck around. Because uh, I'm weird. Uh, not mythic, however. So our snow rare is... Ooh, okay. So we're on our third rare here. Uh, Certland Elementalist. And this is kind of where the packs heat up and you're like, Oh man, this is so cool. This is a great experience. And then you open the next pack and get one rare. So it's, you know, it is what it is. So our next card is a foil. And it is common, but that is okay. We got three rares out of that. Berg Strider. And then what do we have for our... It is white. It is a 2-1. Oh, very cool. Another rare. Um, I don't count these because I don't play outside of standard. But uh, Sensei Golden Tail, which is I, I used to play very heavily during this. This is I was uh, um, not only heavily in Constructed, but definitely during Limited for that set. Actually, for that block, really. I miss that. I miss Kamigawa. I wish they would go back. I know a lot of people hated that set, but I'm not amongst those people. Look, our third list card. Boom. Do this off camera. One, two, three, four, five. We'll pull out our back five. We'll look at our big art. Yeah. That's actually really cool. I like the uh, like the art on that. I like the dual land, dual snow land thing. I think that's a really cool concept. So our first in our uh, lottery slot is going to be Cole the Forge Master, followed by our guaranteed rare, which is uh, another Ascendant Spirit, followed by our Snowland, or Snow card, which is Freja, Firja, Firja, Firja Judge of Valor, uh, in the neat border. I like this border. This is actually one of my favorite orders so far that they've done followed by our foil which is shackles of treachery and then our list card is going to be another white is it white it is white splice onto arcane splicer's skill i didn't play during this set or actually this is a this is a, a master's set so obviously i didn't play because i don't play outside of standard all right So we got a token. We know it's not a uh, list card. I'll go off camera real quick here. One, two, three, 
four. We'll pull those aside. Uh, we'll look at our our full art here, which is very cool. Looks like he's being bound. Um, this is a Norse set, um, so that wouldn't be unlike Fenrir being bound by um, what's his face. Here is our uh, lottery card. We have Poison the Cup, followed by a Guaranteed Rare, Orvar the All Form. This guy is our first mythic and actually a pretty expensive one. Um, I don't know what he is in this border. Uh, I can't imagine him being too cheap, um, but he's up there. He's one of the more expensive guys. Followed by our Snow, which is Boreal Outrider, and followed by our Foil, which is Scorn Effigy. And then, of course, we had our token. I thought it was a list card again, but I was wrong. So we're finishing up our first stack here. Um, we have another token, which means we don't have one, two, three, four, another list card. So we'll get our lottery lined up there. Go ahead and look at the... I mean, Tybalt, man. He finally got some justice. Um, he does a good job of being a really uh, dislikable character. Goldspan Dragon, boom, in our lottery slot. Holy, uh, that's a mythic. Um, that's a mythic, and uh, probably also up there in price. Uh, Goldspan Dragon is is really ramping up there. So we have our guaranteed rare followed with that is Skemfar Avenger. Very cool. Uh, and then our Snow, which is Pilfering Hawk, followed by our Foil which is Invasion of the Giants. These, uh, um, what are they called? Sagas. Uh, very cool. They have a lot of these in this set. Um, I think they're really trying to move towards that whole idea of sagas. I think it's cool. Um, very versatile cards. And there are a lot of really good ones out there. Jump into our next pack. We have an ad card, which means we do not have a um, list card. So next up we have this guy. It was Cole the Forge Master, if you don't if you don't remember. Um, he is our rare. Take a look in here. We have Battle for Bretgard. Or Bretagard. Uh, this is our lottery and it was rare, so that's really cool. Followed by Ooh. Kolvori, God of Kinship. So gods again, very nice. Gods have, I'm going to pull this off camera so I can see what the uh, back of the card looks like. Um, Ringheart Crest, very cool. The gods are all up there in price. Uh, our snow is Blizzard Brawl, which is actually being used in mono green right now. There's a lot of mono green fight decks, so I'm excited for that card. Our foil card is Mistwalker. Is a shapeshifter. Shapeshifters are big in this set. Uh, I was never a big fan of shapeshifters. I'm sorry for everyone who thinks that's detestable. Um, I guess they're really good outside of standard. I, I don't particularly care for them all that much because I like having my creature types, but whatever. It's just me crying. Uh, we have our list card off camera. One, two, three, four, five. Right? Did I do that right? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Cool. Our... Another picture of a neato troll giant thing. With some ice around him. Very cool. Uh, I'll toss that to the side. Let's see what we got, guys. We got our lottery, which is Hailstorm Valkyrie. Uncommon. Followed by our guaranteed rare, which is Sigrid God Favored. Uh, Flash for strike protection from god creatures. Okay. Uh, god Favored enters the battlefield. Exile up to one target attacking or blocking creature. Ooh. Very cool for white, if white would ever come back. Um, Snow card. Frost Peak Yeti. Foil. Uh, Priest of the Haunted Edge. And our list card is... Green, Old Border, Greg Staples, 2-3. I don't know. Oh, Saber Ants from uh, Mercadian Masks. <clears throat> Saber Ants. Mercadian Masks is an interesting set. I was plagued by people playing... The uh, Rashadenport Kismet Stasis decks with Thwart. Oof. 
What a time to be alive, folks. What a time to be alive. Okay, so we have that, which is very cool. Some connected commons and uncommons. Our lottery slot is going to be Fall of the Imposter. My assumption is that they're talking about Tybalt. He is the imposter. Followed by Guaranteed Rare Search for Glory. Search your library for a snow permanent card or legendary card or saga card. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Shuffle your library. Then gain one life for each snow land spent. Nice. Uh, it's an interesting tutor. Uh, followed by our snow, which is Carder. Doom Scourge. Very cool border. I'm still a huge fan of this stuff. Foil. Ooh, foil. Uh, foil rare. It is uh, Immerstrom Predator. Vampire Dragon. Very cool. And then our... Wait, was this? No, this is the list card. Boom. I see Manolith. 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 <clears throat> I guess you could come up with anything for these. Moving on. Spirit. We got two new Planeswalkers in this. And then two uh, older ones. Kaya being one of the older ones. Uh, Tybalt being the other. Then we have Ty Tyvel. Ty Tyvel? Is it Tyvel? Um, as one of the newer ones. And the kid with the shards that I can never remember his name. As one of our newer ones as well. Uh, he is blue-white? Or is he just white? That's a good question. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how they uh, stick around. So we have Fall of the Imposter. Followed by our guaranteed rare, Waking the Trolls, which is supposed to be pretty good. I haven't read this. Destroy target land. Okay, we'll start with some land destruction. A graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Okay, so we'll take your really good lands. Opponent, if they control fewer lands than you, create a 4 <laughs> Okay, so that's just a kick in the teeth. Uh, followed by our Snow Guard, which is Spirit of Alder Guard, of the Alder Guard, and our Foil, which is uh, Immerstrom Raider. Just toss that over there. Over there, Spirit Token. It's kind of cool to see Kaya in this one. Um, oop, another list card. Uh, wasn't sure what was going to happen with Kaya. I'm still kind of interested to know what's going to happen with Oko, because uh, he did not die, he did escape. Very cool art, using his chains as a weapon. Um, yeah, he, he escaped, so we'll see where that goes. Our lottery was a Mythic Eradicator Valkyrie, which is up there in price as well. Lifelink Flying Hexproof from Planeswalkers. Woo! Boast, sacrifice a creature, each opponent sacrifice a creature, Planeswalker. Nice! <laughs> Nice. That is scary aggro. That is scary, scary aggro. So our guaranteed rare is Jorn, God of Winter. So we got a god as well as a mythic. Uh, snow creature god. Yeah, so let me pull that off so we can show you. The cauldron, the rhyme staff, which is supposed to be pretty darn good. Followed by our snow card, Inga Rune Eyes. Inga. Rune eyes? I don't know. Foil. Struggle for Skemfar. And our list card is an old bordered rare. I mean, an old bordered red. <gasps> wow. An old portal stone rain. <laughs> I know that doesn't seem like much, you know, for two and a red. But this, this is like one of my first... One of the cards in one of my first decks is I built a, a mono red burn from portal cards. And of course this is in there. And this art is absolutely one of my favorite arts for Stone Rain. So this is nostalgic as, as heck. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Jump into the next pack. It's an ad card. One, two, three, four, five. Not seeing a lot of the modal double sided lands, which sucks. Here's Kaya for the record. In all of her glory. Uh, she she I guess upgraded her daggers into like little spikes. It's terrifying. It's great. Our lottery is Maja, Bredegard Protector, followed by our 
Uh, guaranteed rare Elvish Warmaster for all you tribal fiends out there. Uh, followed by our Snow Card Hailstorm Valkyrie and our Foil, which is Warhorn Blast. And it's a mini game. I like the mini games. Booster Sleuth. Usually you can play the mini games with one booster, and like I said, they're kind of corny, but like if you're bored, like I don't know, maybe you could have fun with that. Um, five cards, and then oh, we got another signed one. Oh, and it's so pretty. Very nice. I love these cards. Say what you will. These art cards are very cool. And they may be completely worthless, but they're very cool. So our um, lottery slot, Elven Bow, followed by our rare, which is Tundra Fumeral. Fumeral. Tundra Fumeral. Uh, followed by our Snow, which is Ice Hide Troll, followed by our Foil, which is Path to the World Tree. And then, oh yeah, that's right, we didn't get a list card. I don't know, the list card thing's kind of cool. And like I said, it's, it's dredging up some of that uh, good old um, nostalgic feels in my body. Pull out our five here. We'll take a look at one of the newer. This is the guy that I can never remember his name. Uh, he's a newer planeswalker. And those shards. Oh, look at that. Got ourselves a double rare for sure. Dragonkin Berserker in our lottery slot, followed by our guaranteed rare, which is Henge Gate Pathway. The, the uh, box must have heard me in my need for our modal double-sided it's gonna take me a while to get a player set of those followed by our snow frost auger and our foil which is augury raven frost auger augury raven i'm the only one who finds that interesting open give me your contents all right Pull that offside. One, two, three, four, five. Are very cool. The art in this set was actually pretty fantastic. I'm not gonna lie. Um, a lot of the recent sets have been that way. Okay, so our uh, lottery is Arnie slays the troll, followed by our guaranteed rare, which is nice. Uh, so Wolf, Realm Eater, uh, obviously a playoff of Fenrir. I'm going to look at the double side on that guy. Oh, it's not double sided. He's not a god. That's right. Well, I guess I would have seen if I'd looked at the, whatever. Um, followed by Replicating Ring, which is, I, I, I like Replicating Ring. Um, I think it's going to be really good in commander type things. Like I said, I play pretty casually, um. I don't know if this is going to see a lot of play in uh, standard, but who cares? Oh, nice. Oh, it's foil. Foil and full art. Nice. We just pulled one of these, but now we have a second. Hinge gate pathway. What does it look like on the other side? Oh, mist gate pathway. It's beautiful. So that's our blue white modal double sided. And a token. That was a nice pull. In truth, I don't, I really don't see any merit to opening draft boxes anymore. I mean, we're getting pretty much the same experience except, oh, here's a list card, except that we have a chance of getting multiple rares. And in truth, like the commons and uncommons are very easy to come by. It's the rares that can be difficult. So I don't know. I think people need to give these a second chance. Maybe they just up their game for these. Um, but I, like I said, I opened some of the Zendikar Rising ones, quite a few actually. Um, and I wasn't all that disappointed with them either. All right, our lottery slot, starting out with a rare Graven Lore, followed by our guaranteed rare Search for Glory, which I like, followed by our Snow, which is Frostbite, another great card, followed by our Foil, which is Jarl of the Forsaken. And our list card, it's newer, 3-3 three, three blue. 
the most nimble of creatures that chases the most sacred luminescence. Or luminance. I don't know what that is. Moon-eating dog? What set is that from? I have never seen that set symbol. Is that from that dual deck with the Planeswalkers? The um, Chinese one? Chinese Planeswalkers? Hmm. I don't know. Never seen that symbol before. Very cool. Moving on. We're on our last set of boosters here. Have another ad card. Just off camera real quick. One, two, three, four, five. Put that right there. Look at our art card. That's the the uh, angel that I pulled. The Eradicator angel, I think. Valkyrie, whatever. Very cool. They're angels. You can call them Valkyries if you want, but they're angels. All right. In Search of Greatness is our lottery slot. It is a rare, and it is a very good rare. I like that card. Followed by our guaranteed Big Beardy. Beardy, God of Storytelling. Uh, this is a cool card. Um, it is uh, up there in price. It is not Mythic. I should go through here and see how many Mythics I got. Maybe that is the reason these are disappointing. Uh, Bergstrider is our Ice, and our Foil is going to be Squash. And that is just really disturbing <laughs> That, that guy is toast. Uh, and then, what did we get? No, we got a uh, minigame. Probably have to break this into two videos just because there's so many packs here and I kind of talked a little too much. Slowed me down. Very cool art. Um... I just wanted to show off some of these cards. I don't care so much about the commons and uncommons right here, but... All right, Svela, Ice Shaper, Uncommon in our lottery slot, followed by our guaranteed rare, which is Sirulf Realm Eater. This is the normal art border and still a really great-looking card, followed by our Ice, which is going to be Agar, the Freezing Flame, which is the art card that I had signed, in fact, uh, and then followed by our Foil, which is a Kaya's Onslaught. On top of Warrant Clex, no less. I wonder if she kills him. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Um, I don't spoil the storylines. I like to, like to be surprised. One, two, three, four, five. Tybalt's Trickery. Very nice. That card... A lot of people want it banned in modern. Um, don't ban it in modern. It's not going to be consistent enough. Uh, Avalanche Collar. Followed by our guaranteed rare Crippling Fear. Followed by Snow Card. Shimmer Drift Veil. Followed by Foil. Snakeskin Veil. Very good. Snakeskin Veil is very good. Uh, what was that single green card that this is basically the same thing from um, Kaladesh? It's an ad card. We can get rid of that. Oh, gave him hexproof. You know what I mean. Everybody was so sad when it left standard. Oh well. We now have it back in its own very annoying form. Very cool art. Again, the art in the set was phenomenal. They did a really good job. Valkyrie's Sword in our lottery slot, followed by Raven's Warning in the rare slot, followed by our Snow, which is Cole the Forge Master with his awesome frame. Um, I like the original better, personally. And then our foil is uh, Valor of the Worthy. Foils are very much devalued at this point between collectors and guaranteed foils in um, set boosters. They're not nothing special. We have another list card. Now, let me pull that off camera again. One, two, three, four, five. Put those right there. What is this? This is one of the uh, pathways, yeah? The art for oh no no this is the uh, path to the world tree very cool 
Uh, foil snow covered forest. Was that an owl? I love that. Very cool. All right, our lottery card is Avalanche Collar, followed by our Guaranteed Rare In Search of Greatness. I will take it. That's very nice. Followed by our Ice, which is actually going to be um, from the Theme Boosters. This is a, another Elf Tribal, the uh, Canopy Tactician, followed by our Foil, which is Haggy Mob. And our list card is newer Richard Kane Ferguson 2-2. Two, two. Their flesh is sodden as the fens in which they live, oozing to fill any wound. I don't know. Oh, Sedge Sliver. Very nice. Very nice. Rare. I built a Sliver Commander deck. It is terrible, but I love it. Boom. So we got an add card, one, two, three, four, five. Pull those right there. Uh, this unsigned, still very cool. So we got a double of, of our full art little cards there, but that's okay. Our lottery position is taken up by Frostpire Arcanist, followed by our Maskwood Nexus as our rare. Is that any good creatures you control? Are every creature type the same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield? Kriya. Hmm. I mean, if you're into shapeshifters, I hate shapeshifters. Snow card, Grim Dancer. Or, uh, sorry, Grim Draugr. Followed by our foil, Ravenous Lindworm. That's terrifying. And then, of course, we had our mini game. Last four packs, folks. Um, I'm, I'm still not disappointed by what we pulled here. Uh, I got some good nostalgia out of this, and there's just the... We'll go over the rest. We'll look at it. Um, maybe, maybe we can change some people's minds. Another one of the um, Fire Ice dudes. Um, not signed, so that's another double of that. Our lottery card is the Three Seasons. Followed by Tundra Fumeral, which is our guaranteed rare. Followed by our Ice, which is Glittering Frost. Or Snow, my bad. Followed by our Foil, which is God's Hall Guardian. Now, this part has disappointed me. Uh, we pulled one Foil rare, I think. So I'm a little disappointed by that. God's Hall Guardian. Um, really wish we would have seen more. Almost bent that. Pack number three, We've got the Human Warrior. So again, pull that off, one, two, three, four, five. Set those right there. Uh, we have this card right here, and I don't know what that is. Actually, I guess I could look at the uh, Starnheim Unleashed. Yeah, we don't want that. So what do we got here? We got our Faceless Haven as our lottery, and I'll take it. Faceless Haven is nice. Uh, another man land out there. Um, very finicky man land i think it's born Clex's home uh okay flight step pathway all right i'll take it again very nice our ice our snow is going to be maja bredegard and then we'll just go ahead and flip that right there um and then last but not least coal forge master very cool we got two of the nice new border right there in the back Zombie Zerker. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, that guy. Oh, that's the, uh, that's Cosima. All right. Sertland Frostpire. A little uncommon, followed by our guaranteed rare, which was Mythic to Rolf, God of Fury, also known as Thor. Uh, our snow is Narfi, but look at that. To Rolf's hammer. Very nice. Um, Betrayer King, followed by our foil, which is a Dread Rider. And folks, this is the last pack in this box. I think I am going to have to break this into two videos. So let me just go ahead and get through. One, two, three, four, five. 
little giant. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, we got our Spectral Steel as our uncommon in the uh, slot there. Blood Sky Massacre as our guaranteed rare, followed by our Snow, which is Frost Peak Yeti. And last but not least, Foil. Nope, Mists of the Jara. We're not seeing a whole lot of the Foil rares. I'm a little disappointed by that, but you know, it is what it is. Hey guys, Uncommon Ramen here. In the last video, uh, I did an unboxing of a Kaldheim Set Booster. Uh, box, so we got another one of those. Uh, but I, I was running out of space and I didn't get a chance to go over the rares really quickly. So, um, because a lot of people are disappointed by these boxes, I figured we'd go through some stats here. I only ended up getting four mythic rares in total. I don't know what the saturation is on that, so I don't know if that's pretty typical, but I, I feel like in a draft box I would have gotten more, and I might be wrong on that. You know, who knows. I still think that I pulled some pretty good pulls um, in total. So regardless of the fact that there was not a lot of Mythic Rares there, I still like the pulls that I got. But let's talk about the slots in general. Um, I only ended up getting two Foil Rares, which means that Foil Rare slot was just not great for me. Um, on top of that, the Snow slot, I only pulled two uh, Rares from that as well. So the Foil slot and the Snow slot were just very dead for that box. But the... Um, uh, lottery slot was on fire for this box. Um, so, you know, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. I, I ended up getting uh, 44 rares in total, which is right in that average of 44 to 45. So I'm not like deeply disappointed by the box. And like I said, the, the pulls that I did get were really great. Two world trees, a bunch of gods. Um, we did get a gold span dragon. I uh, got quite a few of the I wouldn't say quite a few. I got a couple of the uh, uh, Modal double-sided lands. Um, so all in all, pretty good pull. So let's just see how this box treats us. Um, the other thing is the list cards. I pulled about seven of those, and that's about the average per box. Like I said, there's some pretty good list cards in there. I know that uh, in this specific list, the Kaldheim list, they have... Um, Cavern of Souls, so, you know, who knows, we could pull something good. Again, I'm going to be skipping the, uh, commons and uncommons, because there's just no real point. One, two, three, four, five, and we're just going to move to the rares, or the possible rares. So that is the, um, Snow Fight card for one green. Uh, Replicator Ring is our lottery slot, followed by our guaranteed rare, which is Faceless Haven. Very cool. I like this man land. Um, does depend on snow lands, but who knows. Our snow uh, card for the for this pull is going to be Grim Draugr, followed by our foil, which is going to be uh, Brine Barrow Intruder. And then our token is for the Replicator Ring. So, very cool. Still, uh, okay, so we have a list card here. One, two, three, four, five. Um, go over. Here's another one of Kaya, just doing her thing. I think she's stalking Vorinclex, which is probably the reason she ended up in this uh, plane, but who knows. Uh, our... Um, Lottery slot is Inga Rune Eyes, followed by our guaranteed rare, rare which is Reflections of Lajara. I got excited there a little bit because I thought it was going to be um, that other uh, copy, the card that the, the copies other creatures as they come into play. Um, followed by our Snow, which is Sculp Sculptor of Winter, which is a very cool card. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it reminds me of Sky Shroud. Um, the similar elf, Sky Shroud something or other, that uh, does it for non-Snowlands. And then our foil, which is Masked Vandal, followed by... Oh, Krark's Thumb. I forgot that we had a list rare. Sorry, guys, I spoiled that one right there. Uh, Krark's Thumb was good back in the day. Actually, was it good? No, I think it's good now. It wasn't great back in the day. Mirrodin. I open a lot of boxes of Mirrodin. That and Kamigawa. 
um, had a lot of Sensei's Divining Tops and um, Isochron Scepters. I haven't pulled a Vega yet, but this is Vega. Granted, it's probably in here somewhere. I shouldn't say I haven't pulled it because I haven't actually been looking. Oh, our Immerstrom Predator in our lottery slot. We had a foil one in the last box. Very cool. Our guaranteed rare is a Skemfar Avenger, which is another really cool um, pull. Uh, our Snow card is a Frost Peak Yeti, and our foil is a Maskwood Nexus, a triple rare right here. Maskwood Nexus, uh, if you're into your changelings and or um, shapeshifters. Got ourselves a spirit token, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Pull those out. Followed by this guy's upside down. I think this is Bredegard. Maja of Bredegard. Throw that off to the side. Uh, our lottery is Glimpse of the Cosmos. Very cool. Followed by our guaranteed rare, which is Icebreaker Kraken. You know what I want? I want that blue green card. The whatever it's called, I don't know, um, followed by our Snow, Boreal Outrider, which had that really cool antler, Foil, uh, Carfell Kennelmaster, is he a zombie? He is a zombie, yeah, I don't know, what, what do you think is the most exciting card in this set, We've got ourselves a list card here, I'm excited by quite a few of these from a standard uh, standpoint. Here's one of them, Gold Span Dragon. Very excited for that card. Um, amongst quite a few others. Uh, okay, our lottery slot is Ruined Crown, followed by our Guaranteed Rare, and it's Haunting Voyage in a Mythic Full Art. Very, very nice. Mythic Full Art. So this is our first Mythic. I love the art on this, though. This card is very, very nice. Uh, Replicating Ring as our Snow, followed by our Foil being Horizon Seeker. Is it Sky Shroud Seeker? It was Sky Shroud Seeker. And sorry again, we had a list card. Slime Foot the Stowaway. I'm not... I, I think that they should have avoided... Slime for the Stowaway was very good. I liked uh, some of the decks that were uh, built around this. The in arena, they weren't they weren't good for standard play when you're doing best two out of three. But in arena, when you're doing one match, they had some really good ones. But I don't think they should have pulled anything from uh, sets that that recent. Um, Dominaria wasn't that that long off, so that's a disappointment. But whatever, Dwarf Berserker. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. All right. We have this. This is uh, the most expensive god in the set. Um, don't remember her name. Well, it'll say on the back. <laughs> uh, Essica, god of the tree. Absolutely one of the uh, best. All right. I guess most expensive. I don't know if best is the right word for that. But rune of speed for our lottery slot, followed by our guaranteed... Arnie Broken Brow, um, followed by our Snow, which is Fearja, Judge of Valor, followed by our Foil, which is Invoke the Divine. Just toss that over there. Got ourselves a little Dwarf Zerker. Patrol Warrior. One, two, three, four, five those over here yeah that kind of spoils whether it is okay so we got a boring uh art <laughs> and okay so invasion of the giants in our lottery slot followed by a guaranteed rare of showdown of the scalds our snow is ice hide troll and our foil is breakneck Berserker, who is a common troll warrior. Got treasure in the back here. One, two, three, four, five. That kind of spoils whether it's double-sided or not, but 
not for you, just for me. This is cool art. I like this. What is this art of? This is the art for Port of Carfell, which I should have known because I opened two of those in the last box. All right, our lottery is Battershield Warrior, followed by our guaranteed rare, which is Bark Channel Pathway. I'm okay with that pull, very nice. Like I said, these are the only thing that are probably gonna hold their value after the set rotates. Avalanche Collar, and I know I'm saying that just as the set comes out, but it is an inevitability. And our, so this is our snow, and then our foil was a Skemfar Shadow Sage. You got a plan for the future, especially if you're a standard player. And I am, because I'm not very interested in that other stuff. I've, I've since sold all of my, or at least most of my um, cards from way back when, especially back when I was playing Ice Age Portal, all that stuff. Those are long gone. Ruined Crown, a lot of money there. But I don't, I don't care. Followed by Calamity Bearer as our guaranteed rare. He looks like a jerk. Followed by our Snow Glittering Frost and our Foil Revitalize. This this one is being a little bit uh, cagey. I'm a little disappointed right now. <clears throat> we are ten packs in. Right here is ten. How many rares have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we've gotten two extra rares. Yeah, I don't know. But we did get quite a few mythics, not gonna lie. Not, not quite a few, but we started out with some mythics. So 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, that's 5. Okay. This is. Is this foreign Clex? He's scary. Iceland. All right, our lottery is dual strike. Followed by a guaranteed rare resplendent marshal. Very nice, very nice. It is a mythic. So I talked crap about the mythics in the last box. So this box is like, here, have some mythics. Of course, we're only 10 packs deep. We'll see what happens. We could just get held out on. But uh, Resplendent Marshall, followed by our Snow, which is Pilfering Hawk, and our Foil, which is Roots of Wisdom. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot in the Snow and the Foil slot. Don't know if I should really be disappointed by that. I mean, <sighs> but I can't help it. I can't help but be disappointed by that. One, two, three, four, five. Some more really great art. The Aurora Borealis is very beautiful. This is Gates of Istfel. Just think it's very cool, very neat. All right, our lottery slot is Sigrid God Favored, which I am so okay with. That's very nice. Followed by our guaranteed rare Mystic Reflection was the card I was thinking of. Mystic Reflection um, has jumped to $8.00. Or something in that general range. The uh, full art and the foils are stupid expensive. Um, but Mystic Reflection. Very nice. I'm very happy about that pull. So what is our snow? Vega the Watcher. Go figure. Um, I like this version of Vega the Watcher. Um, I like the art. I like the border. Everything about this is very nice. So our foil is another rare. Waking the Trolls. Um, also a decent card. It's expensive, but it's decent. Okay, another bird. All right, that was our that was our foil rare. Maybe the box is listening to me a little bit. Yeah, right. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we have what was it? The wolf, the wolf, Sarolf. Very nice. It's such good art. Such good dog. Oh, Rally the Ranks in our lottery slot. Followed by our guaranteed rare, which is Halvar, God of Battle, another mythic. Okay, this box is on fire. Um, 
This is a really good one too. I'm gonna pull that off screen so that I don't spoil the ice and the snow card. Sword of the Realms. Very cool. So our snow card is Inga Rune Eyes. Go ahead and put those over there. And our foil, Run Amok. Very nice. I'm enjoying this box, not gonna lie. Each, I enjoyed the last box too. Each of these has their merit. Ooh, we got a list card. Um, each of these has their merit. I would say if you're opening draft boxes, and again, this is going along with the whole uh, last box, I only got four mythics. I've already pulled how many in this one? One, two, three. So I've pulled three. I have a one more to pull, and then the box can go cold on me. If it wants, but uh, pretty excited about the uh, odds here, considering I still have quite a few packs. Okay, our lottery slot, Fearless Liberator, followed by our Guaranteed Rare Kasuma. Kasuma is very nice. God of the Voyage. We got the uh, alternate border in the last box, followed by Frostbite. Just throw it, show you right here. We have the Omen Keel. Um, Frostbite, very good card. And our foil is a Null. Way back from Saga. There's a Saga. If you remember this card. Very cool. Oh, I forgot we had a list card. Crystalline Sliver. This is one of the best slivers. One of them. One of the best slivers. I love, love the old frame. I miss the old frame. Very nostalgic for the old frame. Uh, I remember one, two, three, four, five. There was a magazine that followed magic. Um, or probably was printed by Wizards of the Coast. And in one of their magazines, they had a they had a poll to see what frame everyone would like. And I remember. So this is our lottery slot. Saw it coming. Followed by a guaranteed rare showdown of the Scalds. Followed by our snow, which is ice bind pillar, and last but not least, foil stalwart Valkyrie. Uh, it was polling the Magic player community who was reading that magazine um, about new frames, and I remember in the FAQ there was a there was a there was an actual frequently asked question in the poll, and they were addressing the major problem which was the community basically saying hey we don't want a new frame and in the frequently asked questions it said straight up that they were going to get a new frame no matter what so we should participate to pick which frame we wanted as opposed to having one picked for us i was just there was i remember seeing that and thinking oh there's no way and then it was what mirrodin was the first one it was mirrodin dropped and the new frame came and I was appalled and I I you know honestly I don't um dislike the new frame I just really am that big of a hardcore fan of the old frame and artifacts in general from the old frame which is the brown border uh which screams artifact to me and not you know the gray slate which kind of I don't know I don't know what am I talking about uh provoke the trolls Uncommon, followed by our guaranteed rare blood on the snow. This is a board wipe that we'll probably see a good chunk of play, not gonna lie. That one in Doomscar, which I haven't pulled yet. Uh, our snow is Shimmerdrift Veil, and our foil, boom! Oh, Toralf, foil, God of Fury. Too bad it wasn't the... Um, the alt border. Too bad it wasn't the alt border. Is this okay? So safe to say. All right, Torolf in foil, and it's mythic. So there's our four. So now the box can get cold on me and not give me any more mythics. Yeah, it was pretty sad, um, especially considering they did a poor job on the first printing of the artifacts, uh, which made it very hard to tell whether they were white or artifact. Um, they have since remedied that to some degree, um, but it was still 
it was a, it was a disappointment. It's not, you know, game ending, but it was definitely a disappointment. I don't know if that's upside down or not. Nope, it's right side up. There you go. Um, but it is what it is. Vega the Watcher, followed by Guaranteed Blood on the Snow. So that is the second one that I pulled. Followed by, boom, our snow, which is Morit of the Frost. Morite, Morit, Morite. Our foil, King Harold's Revenge. And treasure. Oh, Doomscar, man. Doomscar, Fortel. The Fortel mechanic is so interesting to me. We got our list card here. Two, three, four. Our art card. Very nice. All right, Cosmos Elixir was our lottery. So we already have our first rare, Cosmos Elixir. This is the first one that I pulled. Followed by our guaranteed rare, which is uh, Kolvori, God of Kinship. So we got another one, except this time we have the alternative frame, which is very cool. Um, our next one is our snow. That one is Bird Strider. So this is the back of Kolvori, Ringheart Cress. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Very nice art. Okay, and then our final one is going to be our foil. Badoo! Raven form. And so we got a list card, and this time I remembered that we got a list card. So we have, it's blue and it's newer-ish, from Mirrodin at least. Uh, made from the trout scales and crawfish whiskers, marrows, shimmering, banners, flash. What is this? Oh, Stony Brook Banneret. I didn't play during the Lauren, Lorwyn, Morning Tide, all that stuff, um, I had taken a, a leave from Magic, um, so I didn't get to play during this cycle, although I heard it was pretty decent. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. We got a Fortel token. Very nice. You know what I didn't get? I wonder if they're even in here. Those uh, modal blank cards. Not that anybody can play in person right now anyway, but hey, instead of being bitter, let's just keep opening packs. Rootless U. <laughs> Uncommon. Guaranteed rare Tybalt's Trickery. I like it. Red deserves counters. <laughs> Right, Narfi Betrayer King in our snow slot, followed by our foil, uh, Starnheim Courser. All right, in truth, what is it? It says counter target spell, choose one, two, or three at random. Its controller mills that many cards, uh, then exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile a non land card with a different name uh, than that spell. Uh, they may cast that card without playing, without paying its mana cost. Um, then put the exiled cards on the bottom of the library in random order, of their library in random order. Eh. 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 I guess until it happens to me, I won't really have an opinion. Boom. Lottery slot. Nico, that was his name, Nico. Nico defies destiny, followed by the guaranteed rare old growth troll, which I love. I'm a huge mono green fan, so old growth troll for sure. Followed by our snow, which is a Certland elementalist. That's our rare, um, and it is a, a theme booster rare. Very cool. Followed by a foil, Coma's faithful. Coma's faithful, and not a list card. In fact, it's an ad card. Ugh. All right, pack number 20. We've got 10 more packs after this. Got ourselves a human soldier in the back here. Let me just pull that off camera so I can pull out the cards that we care about. Here, oh, this guy. This is the guy I want. I want that. What's his name? His name is Coma. Okay, 
I want Coma. Of course, I also want a uh, Doomscar too. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Uh, Kaya the Inexorable as our lottery slot, which means we still have a rare. And it's a mythic right here, so we've already gone above and beyond for this box. We have five mythics as opposed to our last box of four. So Kaya the Inexorable. Inexorable. What is a rare then? It's a snow. Ooh, Draugr Necromancer. Okay, okay. Our snow card. Green. Spirit of Allergard. And our foil. Spectral Steel. Very nice. Okay, and that was not a list card. Very nice. Okay, so. Not at all unhappy about that pull. So we got 10 more packs, folks. Kaya. I, I do want Tybell. Ooh, okay, we got a list card. His name is Tybell, right? I'm probably not saying that right. Tybell. I feel like it's Tybell. Um, here we go. This is that mythic Valkyrie, the white one, not the Desolator or whatever. Desecrator, Desolator. Uh, forging the Tyrite Sword. That's our uh, lottery. So we are following up with our guaranteed rare Eska's Chariot. Eska is the god of the tree. Uh, followed by our Snow, which is Frost Augur. I've only pulled one uh, rare in this snow slot for this box. And our foil is a Story Seeker. I haven't pulled a lot in the foil slot either. I think I've pulled two this is i'm not okay with that <laughs> ikoria is still standard legal it is still in standard and it is part of the list and despite the fact that it is the you know alternate art it is this is not an okay thing for them to be doing i don't i don't appreciate that um, I put, I opened two of the Ikoria collectors boosters, and I have more than a player set of those, so I don't appreciate that. That is a mistake on Magic's part, but here they can redeem themselves because we have yet another list card. Another list card. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's five. Five. This time I'll try not to forget that there is a list card on the back of this one. Uh, we have this guy right here. Um, what is his name again? His name is Alrund, God of the Cosmos. I want him to. That would be nice. I would like to see some of these cards, but you know. Can't get everything you want. Rally the Ranks, our rare in the lottery slot. Very nice. Followed by our guaranteed Egon, God of Death. This is one of the more expensive gods. I can live with this. In our snow slot, we have Blizzard Brawl, which I'm okay with. Very nice. Throne of Death is Egon's backside. So, Blizzard Brawl. In our foil slot, we have Skemfar Avenger. That was That's another rare. So, that was a triple rare pack. Very nice. Um, so, we have a list card. Hopefully, it's not another Ikoria, currently standard, legal. No, this is old. Mark Zug. White. Pegasus tokens? Mark Zug? Um, is this... Is this Pegasus Mesa? Pegasus Stampede from Stronghold. Stronghold was the... Uh, no, this isn't Stronghold. This is Exodus. Exodus was the first set to start using the rarity labels. Um, the first set where, you know, black was common, silver was uncommon, gold was rare. And this is before Mythic rares, so... Skim for Avenger, very nice. Um, Pegasus Stampede from Exodus. Very cool. Oh, and look at, check out that symbol. Come on, focus. That is like no other plane symbol I've ever seen. That's like old style planes. They haven't done that in so long. So that is the, this is what it looks like now. And that's what it looked like back then. So interesting. It looked even worse um, back in like the Ice Age times. Um, 
I don't have any cards to show it. Um, oh, there's Kaya's emblem. Um, but they, they definitely, <laughs> they've done some upgrades, uh, since those sets have dropped. Cause that was, that's, this is the third time this, this symbol has changed. Um, Okay, so that's the Desolator Valkyrie or something to that effect, right? Vengeful Reaper, I was wrong. Vengeful Reaper. Foil Snowland. Giant's Grasp in our lottery slot. Can I get a focus, please? Jeez. Uh, guaranteed Rare. Toski, Bear of uh, Secrets in his almighty epic form. Alternative art. Very cool. Uh, our snow is also in that, but it is Harold King Skimfar, or of Skimfar. We'll just put that right there. And our foil is a funeral longboat. I wonder if the vehicles are going to become appealing. They're trying to make them a little bit more... Because they, they've been doing vehicles in a lot of different sets, and they haven't been usable in this case we have two cost with vigilance only crew one which is great crew one for a three three so the two cost is it viable um i don't think so but you know we'll see all right is that all our list cards one two three four five six we have one more possible list card in here if they keep with the uh averages here not getting a lot of the modal dual-sided lands but no, it is what it is. Speaking of modal dual sided lands, that is art from one. Toss that up there. So in our uh, lottery slot, we have Rune of Mortality, followed by our guaranteed rare, Firja's Retribution. Firja, Firja, probably messing that up. Snow card, Pilfering Hawk, Foil, Frost Peak Yeti. And then our kitty. List card. Okay. This is probably the last list card we're going to pull in this box. Uh, some pretty cool pulls in there. Not going to lie. Um, as far as nostalgia is concerned, there wasn't really anything. It was like a big banger hit. But again, you can't wish for the world. Uh, Graven Lore, which is our uh, lottery slot. So we got another rare following it with uh, Tyrite Sanctum. Target legendary creature becomes a god in addition to other types. Put a plus one plus one counter on it. Sacrifice Tyrite Sanctum. Put a indestructible counter on that god. Or on target god. Interesting. Interesting. Snow. Sculptor of Winter. Sky Shroud Seeker. Uh, and our foil, Feed the Serpent. This is our le last list card. Very likely our last list card. So what do we have? It's newer. Few who encounter the strange human like... Oh, did I get... Ah, that's too bad. Song of the Dryads. I thought that was going to be uh, Dryad Arbor, uh, which is part of this list. Uh, believe it or not. And I think it's the one that looks like a basic land. The one that uh, is caused from much controversy. Oh well. Still very cool. That is a rare. And that is the only... No, there's two rares. I pulled two. Crocs Thumb. Song of the Dryad. Very nice. Okay, guys. What is going to come in these last five packs? Are we going to get another gold span? We well now we we hit five mythics. That's that's it, man. They're gonna get cold from that point on. We're gonna get a doom scar. I haven't seen a doom scar in either box. So we have giant's amulet in our lottery slot, followed by Cosmo's elixir in our guaranteed rare, followed by our snow, which is Sertlin flinger, which is actually a theme booster. Um. Rare, and our foil, which is Glittering Frost. And another ad card. I don't... Uh, these ad cards, man. Just give me tokens. I'll take the tokens. I don't mind the tokens. Pack number four. Open. Open, please? Yes. Open from the top, I guess. Uh, 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, boom, like that. Uh, okay, so very nice art. Snowlands. Anybody want to talk about Vanity Snowlands? Binding of the Old Gods, which is not a bad saga. Followed by, that's our uh, lottery slot on common, followed by our Fort? Is this Fort? Fort, what pathway? Fort pathway! Dark Boar pathway. Did I get one of each of the pathways? I may have missed one. Very, very nice. I love the art. Snowland is Priest of the Haunted Edge, so our Dark Boar is also our Slither Boar pathway. Ugh, so nice. And then our foil, which is Herald King of Skemfar. Tribal, tribal, tribal. And our treasure. Okay. Pack number three. Counting backwards, for the record. Uh, okay, that is five. Put those there. Show off our rare, which is... I'm not a rare. Our art card which is beautiful okay we have giant's grasp again in our lottery slot followed by our guaranteed rare herald unites the elves oh herald is his name not his title <laughs> okay harald is his name my bad that's not an e that's an a uh followed by our snow ice hide troll we're not getting a lot in this slot we haven't gotten a lot in this slot neither have we gotten in this slot so, you know, Cinderheart Giant. I guess it is what it is, you know. Can't expect miracles. Oh, we got another list card. Okay. What does that make? Is that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that makes eight. Okay, I can live with that. Just for another mystery, I guess. I mean, I, it's not like we're pulling anything fire in that slot. Oh, and it's a, a signed art card. This is the first one in this box, too. We only got one in this box. That is odd. But it is what it is. You know, I can't um, can't complain about it. This is Starnheim Unleashed. It's not like we're actually using those cards for anything. M more than anything, it's just a, to put in the front of a box, I guess. <laughs> so in our lottery slot, we have Armed and Armed armored okay very nice uh full rare or our rare oh wow haunting haunting voyage so that was the first one that we pulled our first mythic that we pulled uh we got the full arts this is the regular art okay so we we got another that's six mythics in this box uh i don't know if that's disappointing or not okay cleaving reaper in our snowland spot so this was uh two rares so far cleaving reaper this is a um, theme booster. Foil? Nah, okay, I side troll. Dang. You can only expect so much. The It's blue, it's newer, worn mahi. Oh, latchkey fairy. Okay. This is another one of those that I didn't get to play. Prowl. You may play this card for the prowl cost if you dealt damage to a player this turn with a fairy rune. Okay. Prowl is better than ninjutsu when latchkey fairy comes into play if it's prowl costs pay draw card oh and there's incentive to prowling very nice should have played shouldn't have quit should have kept playing oh well the past is the past this is the last of the boosters folks and in truth, I'm not really disappointed with what we got here. Um, so here is, this is Ty Tyvel. This is that new, is his name Tyvel? Tyvar, Tyvar, Tyvar is the new um, Planeswalker. All right, so in our lottery slot, we have Fall of the Imposter, followed by our guaranteed rare, which is Blood Sky Massacre. Followed by our snow, which is Finn the Fangbearer. And last chance for the foil to be a rare. Boom. Nope. 
Uh, Village Rights, which got reprinted from another card that is still standard legal and will be standard legal as long as this set is standard legal, so there was no point in reprinting it. Okay, folks, that's it. Um, yeah, so if you like the video, um, please like and subscribe. And um, I will be trying to do some collector's openings for this set, Kaldheim, and um, Zendikar Rising, even though it's um, now old news, just because I hadn't had a chance to. Plus the... Um, what are they called? The the two boosters that, with the lands. Oh, what are they called? Um, expedition. The Expedition boosters are always fun to open. So we'll just look forward to that in the future. Um, and guys, until next time, peace.